The sun rises on a hot summer Texas day. The land is flat and quiet, except for a small area near the coast. There, at a vast complex factory in Boca Chica, Texas, the engineers and scientists who run SpaceX are hard at work. After years of talk, anticipation, and testing, they're building something, and it's very, very big. SpaceX is finally stacking the biggest rocket ever constructed. It stands at 120 meters or 400 feet. That height means that it's downright massive and dwarfs any rocket that came before it. When it's all finished and ready to fly, this creation will travel far from Earth and could radically change the way humans fly through space. It will produce about twice the thrust of the vehicles that initially sent men to the moon. That makes sense because this ship, called Starship, will likely be the vessel that helps mankind first step foot on Mars. It really is the future of space travel, and really is as big as people say. What is Starship? Why is it so big? And what do Elon Musk and SpaceX have in store with this prized possession? Back in 2017, Elon Musk hadn't yet proved himself like he has today. Yes, he was a billionaire who'd already run multiple wildly successful companies and had also taken his car company Tesla to new heights, but he was still laughed at by many. This was because Elon Musk said he was going to revolutionize space travel and take average, everyday citizens far into the deepest reaches of space. Want to land on the moon? Musk said he could make it happen. How about going to Mars? He said that was far more likely than most people knew. Although it was only a few years ago, many people didn't think that this was possible and definitely didn't think it could be achieved by SpaceX. Tasks like this were always done by governmental agencies such as NASA or Roscosmos. This just wasn't completed by private enterprises. Fast forward a few years later, and now we've seen two of the richest men on Earth, Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson, fly into space. So the idea of space travel for people who aren't astronauts doesn't sound so far-fetched at all. Meanwhile, SpaceX has been hard at work testing its vehicles and making lucrative and substantial deals with NASA, the very people who once owned the keys to flying through space. A lot has changed in a few few years, hasn't it? But one thing has remained constant. Elon Musk's insistence on creating the biggest rocket ship that ever was. Back in 2017, Musk revealed the idea of his mammoth invention, colorfully codenamed BFR, or Big Effing Rocket. The BFR would be a fully reusable ship that was designed to send up to 100 people, or 100 tons, into space at a time. The BFR was the next step in space tech for SpaceX. They had already worked on existing rockets such as the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, but Musk always saw those as steps needed to complete and perfect the BFR. The BFR, officially named Starship, was always the end goal for Musk. It would use liquid oxygen and methane as fuel, which was a wild variation from the typical rocket propellant that was used by other ships in the past. This would allow astronauts to fly all the way to Mars, refuel using the planet's natural resources, and then come back home or continue deeper into the great unknown. In so many ways, Starship was different. But perhaps one of the most radical things about Starship was its size. It was created on a scale that was just unheard of before. To really understand how big this thing is, you need to break it down to its basic parts. The Starship is actually two vessels stacked upon one another. The ship itself measures about 160 feet tall. As you can tell, that's nothing to sneeze at, and it's gigantic in its own right. But what really gives Starship such an incredible height is the Super Heavy Booster. That rocket booster measures 230 feet and sits right underneath the actual ship. 
paired together, the combined Starship comes in at 394 feet in height. That jaw-dropping number leaves everything else that has come before in the dust, even SpaceX's vehicles. For example, SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy ships were about 230 feet tall. The Atlas V rocket from United Launch Alliance is 197 feet. NASA's tallest ship, the Saturn V, was 363 feet, and it was the most powerful rocket ship that ever existed, creating 7.6 million pounds of thrust in just seconds. Not only does Starship dwarf the Saturn V in height, it does so in sheer power as well. Upon liftoff, the Starship will produce 16 million pounds of thrust. The world-famous and iconic space shuttle that Americans fell in love with decades ago was only 60 meters tall, just half of Starship's 120. By all standards, nothing has ever come close to the Starship. Elon Musk calls it a flying skyscraper, and he's not wrong. It really is taller, bigger, and more powerful than any of its predecessors. And while it has yet to traverse among the stars just yet, it has already shown off so much potential. Starship has undergone many, many tests already off the coast of Texas. Many of those tests were needed to perfect and tweak the 29 methane-burning Raptor engines that will power up the Super Heavy and the ship placed atop it. And each and every test has been a huge success, even when they've ended in flames. Yes, multiple attempts at testing the Starship have ended with the unmanned ships exploding. Not to worry, said Elon Musk, it's all part of the plan. Even when a prototype blows up, it's still teaching all of SpaceX what to change and how to enhance the overall vehicle. So, how will it look when it's done? Elon Musk has always said that every single part of Starship will be totally reusable. He's even said that the enormous ship will be able to be used up to a thousand times before retirement. Upon launch, the ship will rocket into space before the Super Heavy detaches from the rest of the ship. Starship will continue upward and out of the atmosphere as the Super Heavy cascades back down to Earth. Unlike in the past, when rocket boosters would just splash down in the ocean, the Super Heavy booster will return back to the launch pad that it left only moments before. Using a pair of immense arms, SpaceX plans to catch the Super Heavy and gently place it back on the ground, ready to be used again in only hours if need be. Meanwhile, Starship, now only 160 feet tall, will keep rocketing through space on its way to the moon, Mars, or beyond. And when its journey is finally concluded, it will return to Earth and land safely and slowly on the surface of the planet. After that, the Starship and Super Heavy will be united again, and a brand new flight can begin. Even the most seasoned engineers and scientists have said that Starship is a sight to behold.